Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the freezer evaporator fan motor on the Samsung refrigerator. We'll need a few different tools for the job. We'll leave those listed in the description below. Let's get started. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. The first thing that you'll need to do is open up the freezer drawer. Next, remove the upper freezer tray assembly by pushing it to the rear, lifting the wheels out of the slots, and then lifting up on the front to remove it. Next, remove the freezer box tray by tilting the rear and pushing back to remove it from the front slot, then tilt forward and lift up to remove. Next, remove the four 10 millimeter bolts. There are two on each side. Next, we can remove the freezer door by grabbing both sides, lifting up to remove the door brackets from the slide rails, and lifting out to remove. Next, remove the retaining pin from the gear shaft by simply pulling it out. Next, remove the gear shaft by sliding it to the right, then lifting up on the left side and sliding it out to remove it. Next, remove these two Phillips screws. Before removing the panel, it's a good idea to let it thaw out in case the panel's frozen in place. You do not want to use any additional heat sources as it can warp the inside of the freezer. Grab the bottom of the panel, pull towards you, then pull down. Be careful as the top is still connected by wires. Now disconnect the electrical plug by depressing the locking clip and pulling out. Now rotate the top of the panel downward to remove it from the freezer. Now remove the four Phillips screws. With the four screws removed, lift off the evaporator fan motor. Using your thumbs, push off the fan blade. Next, remove the Phillips screw. Now, pry and release the four locking tabs. Then, flip open the cover. Next, lift up the motor, then depress the locking tab and remove the electrical plug. If you have a bad evaporator fan motor and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You wanna make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you get the correct part. To reinstall the motor, first reconnect the electrical plug. Then, set the motor back into the housing. Now close the cover and snap the four locking tabs back in place. Now reinstall the Phillips screw. Next, reinstall the fan blade. Make sure the green side is facing out. Then push until the fan blade bottoms out on the shaft of the motor. Next, align the notch on the fan with the notch on the cover, then set in place. Now reinstall the four Phillips screws. To reinstall the cover, push it to the rear, then rotate it up and set it on the slide rails. Now reconnect the electrical plug. Now insert the top of the cover into the slot in the ceiling, then push the bottom parts until they snap into place. Then reinstall the two Phillips screws. Next. Fully extend the freezer drawer slide rails. Take the end of the gear shaft with the hole in it and insert it into the right side. Then align and insert the left side. Now reinstall the retaining pin. Next, reinstall the freezer door by aligning the tabs on the door brackets with the slots on the freezer glides and setting in place. Now reinstall the four 10 millimeter bolts. Next, reinstall the freezer box tray by inserting the back first tilting the front forward into the slot and then setting it in place. Next, reinstall the upper freezer tray by tilting in the rear and setting it down onto the freezer box tray. Now, push it to the rear and then pull it forward to make sure the wheels are locked in place. So that's it for this video. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below.